Cray Young Classic winner. That was awesome. And do you know what this is going to do for me and my school? I'm updating the website right now with some revised rates. I mean, not to take anything away from what it means for your career, but, you know, the fact that I trained the winner of the May Young Classic, that's good for business. Anyway, congrats, Red. You're on your way. Oh, and, um, send me a picture of you with the trophy when you get a chance. I'll edit myself standing next to you, if that's cool. <laughs> uh, all right, later. So, I heard my sign in our hometown was either hit with a very localized hailstorm, or the more likely scenario, it was vandalized. Do you or your loser friend Trey know anything about that? Because if I can prove that you had anything to do with it, there will be severe consequences. Anyway, I need to get back to training. I'm going to pretend my sparring partner is you and slap the crap out of her. Later! Red, it's your old pal, Baron Blade. I'm gonna skip all the congratulatory crap and cut right to the chase. We all know what will happen next. WWE is gonna offer you a contract, but what if, and just hear me out, you swerved the entire industry and signed with BCW? Just think about the shockwaves that would send throughout the business and what it could do for both of us. Controversy creates cash, baby. Anyway, you have my number. Let's make it happen. Welcome back to a special live edition of Women Who Fight, recapping everything we just saw at Evolution, where Red completed her improbable run by defeating Rhea Ripley to win the Mae Young Classic. <laughs> Kid, I seem to remember you being pretty confident that Rhea Ripley was going to win the whole thing. <laughs> oh, I also seem to remember you thinking Io Shirai was going to win it. Mm. At least my predicted winner made it to the finals. Okay, okay, so we were both wrong. <laughs> okay, but let's talk about what this means for Red going forward. Okay. The May okay. Young Trophy's nice, but you have to assume the even bigger prize she earned tonight was a WWE contract. Well, yeah, more specifically an NXT contract. I wouldn't be surprised if we see an announcement regarding that very soon. Based on the success of previous winners, Kyrie Sane and Tony Storm, I don't think it's crazy to think that Red could capture championship gold in the very near future. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy there. She doesn't even have a deal yet as far as we know. And besides, didn't you learn your lesson on wrongly predicting the winner of the Mae Young Classic? I'm just saying Kyrie Sane won the NXT Women's Championship less than a year after winning the first May Young Classic. And mm -hmm. then Tony Storm won the NXT UK Women's Championship only a few months after she won last year's May Young. There is data to back this up. Okay, but just because it happened for those women yeah. doesn't mean it will happen for Red. Well, I think you're getting way ahead of yourself. Okay, uh, we'll revisit this at a later date and see if I was right. <laughs> Until then, let's get back to discussing an amazing show. I feel like I recognize you from somewhere. Calgary? Oh, I know. You look just like the woman in those TV commercials for IBS. I think it's that scrunched up, miserable face you're always making. I beat you in my first match ever, remember? Sorry, doesn't ring a bell. But congrats on winning that cute little trophy. Let me know if you ever want to step up and face some real competition. I just want to reiterate that we had no intention of signing you to NXT, possibly ever. But thanks to your friend sticking her neck out for you, that's obviously changed. So I suggest you make the most of this opportunity. I will. Wait, so are you saying your buddy X-Pac never mentioned me? No, he did. Oh, okay. So at least you have his recommendation to go off of too. I said he mentioned you. I didn't say it was good. Uh, I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, Look, it's red on the red carpet! I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. 
She gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay. Well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind. It's one thing to achieve your dreams, but you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. You, you never know what could happen, plus it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet, good luck with your match tonight. Aw, oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no. Or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's gonna be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home, but keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand, but you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and will determine the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship! Wait a second, what's he doing out here? Before we get to that match, which my friend Red is gonna dominate, there's something I need to say. When I was signed to NXT, I was told to make the most of my opportunity. Well, so far, the only opportunity I've had is to sit in the back every week like some kind of glorified cheerleader watching everyone else do their thing, while I ask myself over and over again why I'm not out here. Maybe it's because I'm not good enough in the ring, or I don't have the right look, or I rub someone the wrong way. Or maybe it's simply because my friend helped me get a job and no one can see me as anything other than a charity case. 
I could drive myself crazy trying to figure it out, but one thing's for sure. If I never get a chance to show what I'm capable of, how will anyone know if I deserve to be here or not? Luckily, there's a tournament coming up that has put countless NXT superstars on the map, the Dusty Classic. Only problem is, I've tried and tried to find a partner, and so far, all I've gotten is a bunch of no's, blank stares, and who the heck are you's? But there's one person I haven't asked yet. Someone who calls themselves the Dream. But they've never competed in the tournament named after the real Dream, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. So I'm not leaving this ring until Velveteen Dream comes out and agrees to be my partner. Wait, are, are those handcuffs? Are you kidding me? Get this idiot out of the ring. No wonder no one wants to be his partner. Uh, this is certainly an unconventional way of doing things. He called out Velveteen Dream, and thankfully, here he comes. Yeah, hopefully to put an end to this mess. So, are you going to be my partner? Because as you can see, I'm not going anywhere until I get a yes. The dream always keeps a spare handcuff key on his person. You never know when you might need it. If you want the Dream to be your partner, then you need to prove yourself by beating the Dream in a match later tonight. You've got the Dream's attention, but let's see if you can keep it. That was certainly unexpected, but Velveteen Dream has made a career out of defying expectations. Look, I don't care how weird that was. At least Velveteen got the moron out of the ring. Well, let's get back to the previously scheduled match. Me riding my own coattail. Well, maybe give me a heads up next time you're gonna hijack the show right before my match. You got this. We apologize again for the delay in bringing you this number one contender match for Candice LeRae's NXT Women's Championship. Delay is a much nicer term than I would have used. You have to wonder if that interruption will throw either of these women off their game. That's a valid question. But knowing the history they have with each other going back to last year's May Young Classic, I think both Red and Rhea will be more focused on the task at hand. Up and off. Drop kick. Beautiful. She's looking relentless now. Really taking control here. Snake eyes. Good night. She's not sure why, but she releases the hold. I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Punch right to the face! Reversal! What a counter! Wow, what a sequence. Gotta wonder how this is gonna end, Byron. It's not gonna be good. Sit down! Senton, that'll take the wind right out of you. 
If you look up bad attitude in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure you'll see Rhea Ripley's photo right there on the page. Rhea Ripley is the walking, talking personification of bad attitude. Uh, you can't look up bad attitude in the dictionary, Saxton. You can look up bad or attitude. I'll give you, Rhea Ripley certainly has attitude. Oh, this is my favorite. The old Royal Butterfly Suplex. The end is looming now. Yeah, this could be the end of the road for her. Oh, here we go. It connects. That might just do it. Rhea answers with a decisive big kick. It right, looks like that rocked red. Red counters with a super kick. Both women are down. It's over. Hold on. Both women's shoulders were on the map when the ref counted three. Oh, I saw two. Can we get some kind of official ruling on this? Obviously, Rhea Ripley and Red both believe they won and deserve the title opportunity. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens next. What else could go wrong tonight? Talk about a man who understands pageantry, who understands making a first impression, who understands how to be a sports entertainer with a capital S, capital E. Right? If you missed the opening moments of our broadcast tonight, Trey called out the Velveteen Dream, demanding he be his partner for the upcoming Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Yeah, but you left out the part where Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes. Luckily, Velveteen had a key here. That idiot would probably still be stuck in the ring. Oh, well, let's not forget what Velveteen Dream said. If Trey can defeat him, Velveteen will be his partner for the Dusty Classic. There's a lot riding on this match. Oh, this guy Trey is only here because his friend got him a job. There is no way he's going to beat Velveteen Dream. He's fighting hard, and it's paying off. He's gaining the upper hand here. Great athletic ability on display here. He's absorbed some damage already. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Nasty impact. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, there's an arm breaker. Right to the spine. Look out. Here we go. From the top. Oh, 
drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. So precise with the super kick. Big move coming. DDT! The Florida Keys! Bang! Nice contact there. Oh, he knew that was coming. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Absolutely spiked! DDT! Gets out of dodge there. Up across the shoulders. Feast your eyes. Trey setting up for a suplex, but Velveteen blocks it twice. <sighs> Velveteen Dream hits the neck breaker. Maybe you'll find a partner next year, pal. And now he's going to the top. This might put an end to Trey's hopes of competing in the Dusty Classic. Do it, Dream. Purple Rainmaker. Thankfully, this is all over. Come on, cover him. What's the hold up? Wait, what's Velveteen doing? No, no. He's telling the referee to count. Velveteen Dream is letting Trey win. You gotta be kidding me. What the heck is he thinking? Why would you do this? Maybe Velveteen wanted to be Trey's partner after all. The Velveteen, but that guess is as good as any. I can't believe it. This dream just turned into an absolute nightmare. Velveteen's confusing Very actions cool. aside, you're looking at the newest team to enter the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic.